Is Notion worth it? It's a good question. There's a few components to it, so let's get right into it. Money. Um, it's free, so yes, it's worth it in regards of spending money. There is a pro account, which I, uh, or a few different pro versions, which I actually do recommend upgrading to, just because uh, there's a ton of other features that you can get. The main one that I really care about is that I can upload bigger file sizes, um, so I actually use this as like a Dropbox replacement. <gasps> And it's the way I send files and stuff to clients. And, and I also create like brand dashboards and stuff like that, which is super useful. If you want the pro account, there's a link in the description. Uh, click that and then they know I sent you. Um, but if not, the free version, honestly, it's great. So is Notion worth it in regards to everything other than money? That's also a good question. Here is a blank Notion dashboard. I'm just going to take you through kind of the possibilities really quickly in a video. The beautiful thing about Notion is it can do absolutely anything. Um, but that often means that people make absolutely everything. One of the best parts about Notion is once you start getting really comfortable with it and you start understanding your workflow and, uh, you know, just how to work at the most productive state, then what you can do is create dashboards and um, workplaces that enable you to do your best work. When you hit slash, you have a few different options. Now there's even more options with Notion AI. However, this account that I'm using actually doesn't have Notion AI but I do have it on my main one, which is a separate video in itself. However, the main features are here. We have text, page, to-do list, headings, table, bullet lists, blah, 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 a bunch of different stuff. The main stuff is really databases and pages. And then you can do like toggles and different columns and embed a ton of different stuff. The main thing that I use is embedding Loom videos. So if you're a freelancer or you work in a company with more than two people, uh, or actually even just yourself. To be honest, having Loom videos embedded is one of the most useful things ever. So I'm using Loom right now to record this video. And what I do with clients is actually record Loom videos as explanations and embed that in their dashboards. The main stuff that we will look at today is understanding pages. So you can make a page. So the beautiful thing about Notion is, we'll just call this page. You can make pages within pages, within pages, within pages, within pages, within pages. It never ends. This whole YouTube account is about Notion, as you can tell from the name Notion Setup. Subscribe if you're interested in knowing about how to make Notion dashboards for a bunch of different scenarios. So I've made one showing how to make a, your own Netflix in Notion. I've made one about using uh, certain productivity systems. The possibilities are really endless within Notion, which is its main strong point. So a lot of people initially compare it to kind of like uh, Google Docs and uh, Google Sheets and stuff like that. However, you're a lot more flexible in Notion. So what you can do is, first of all, there's no like uh, page numbers. It's just one long continuous document. Uh, you can always export stuff to PDFs up here. Just hit that and you can export. Super easy to PDF, HTML, bunch of different features. So that's super useful if you ever need it to a PDF, which I do with invoices and stuff like that. One of the other beautiful things is you can make templates. So this page could be a template for an invoice or something. As you can see, there's already pre-made templates. Uh, when you're a new user, you might want to use pre-made templates just to get you started. Um, another thing, I have a ton of free templates, link in the description to my Gumroad account. We'll have a quick play with databases. So you can do a normal table just by doing forward slash table and then like and then like most table makers you, it's a it's a very simple one as you can see there and then if you want a more complex table uh, they're referred to as databases so you can do forward slash database these are honestly what i think is the main selling point of notion the endless possibilities with databases is insane plus you can do multiple views for databases and i'll explain why this is useful so as an example let's go with uh, just someone who wants to make YouTube videos. So I'm going to do a really terrible job. I am actually planning on making a future video about how to organize and produce YouTube content through a well-organized database, but I'm going to do a really terrible job right now just to kind of show you the possibilities. So first I'm just going to go up here and make this into a full width just so I have a lot of more room to play with. So here's an idea. Uh, is Notion worth it? Then in databases, you can change and have a bunch of different column types. Now, column types have, again, a ton of different features. So you can do, I don't know, let's say date. So this is the date we want to publish. So let's say tomorrow. Then you can add another type. Let's say it's a select of the type of video spelt wrong. It's a, let's say, 
tutorial. Say if we don't want to see it like this, we have a ton of different video ideas, right? How to make coffee, uh, and I want to publish that next week, and the type is cooking related. So one of the beautiful things about Notion is that I can view this information as multiple different versions. So if I press up here, this button here, I can actually decide to view this as a board. So kind of like Trello. So it's very similar to Trello. Literally you can make Trello in about 12 seconds. Another view you can do is timelines, lists, galleries. So with galleries, you can drag and drop images in here. Again, with all pages, you can make templates for them, which is super useful. Every kind of thing that you're doing on a repetitive basis, you can make into a template. Actually, just to kind of show how that works, in this video, I'll do a template for a YouTube video. So another thing you can do is plus and view it as a calendar. This is how I work. So in other videos, uh, subscribe if you're interested. Uh, I talk about how your day is your to-do list. I like seeing my to-do list as a calendar instead of a list because I want to know what I have to do today. So here you can see on Saturday, I have to publish my is Notion worth it. Another thing is I can play with the properties panel. So I can say, oh, I want to show the type as well. So now I see this uh, underneath. And again, you can add as many properties as you want. I might want to have an email connected to that, a phone formula, yada yada. Another thing you can do is you can share certain pages with people. So say if I wanted to share this dashboard with someone else, or this calendar, sorry, with someone else, I can go into this page and type, uh, type database. So I'll type, or oh, actually let's do the calendar. So calendar view, and then I can actually select this existing one. So YouTube videos. Now, I can see the same one and they're connected. So when I make a change on this, the change will also happen on this page. So maybe, let's say I have an editor as an example for uh, my tutorial videos. I could go in here and do a filter, add filter when my type contains tutorial. So now as you can see, only tutorial videos show in this. So now when I add a new one, a tutorial uh, will automatically be assigned. So that tag will be tutorial. Another thing I can do is create templates as I was talking about before. In here, you can have certain information like uh, thumbnail, script, video title, etc. Now, all I do is when I wanna create a new one, I can make this uh, untitled. Let's make that into the default, set as default. So now when I'm in here and let's say, oh, on the 11th, I want to release a new YouTube video. I press plus, and then as you can see, this automatically gets generated uh, instantly, which is amazing. So this, these can be as complicated as you want. These can have like a rich amount of data, or you can keep them super simple. The, the best thing about Notion is that it's a canvas for you to do absolutely whatever you want on them. So I'm going to be making a ton of videos explaining different dashboards, different setups, uh, amazing things that you can make in Notion. To understand is Notion worth it, you really first have to understand the capabilities. So some of the competitions like Trello, Asana, the Google Suite and all of this, so they all have their pros and cons. However, they're all very limited to you can't build absolutely anything you want. And the thing about Notion is that you can. So Trello, working with boards, I actually don't, personally I don't like working with boards. However, if you do want to work with boards, what you do is forward slash board view, hit new database, and now all of a sudden you have a Trello board and it's free. Uh, Asana, it's good, has its pros and cons. However, you can't customize as much as you can in Notion. I could go through every productivity system and platform. However, there's a new one created every single day. I find that most of the new ones don't have the flexibility that Notion has. And that's what makes Notion different. The fact that I can make absolutely anything in Notion and you can be as flexible as you want. So is it worth it to invest time into Notion? I 100%, I mean, obviously it's my channel is Notion Setups. I think in 2023, you really should be using Notion. If you're at a school, if you're in a workplace, if you run your own business, whatever it is, using Notion will have such a big benefit into your productivity. I would say I'd cut down my admin time per week from maybe a day or two per week to about two hours. In terms of writing notes and stuff, 
you're not putting some stuff on a, a Google Keep and then other stuff you're messaging to yourself and then some stuff you're uh, keeping on your Google Docs and then other stuff you're doing an Excel document which you're then emailing to someone. All of this stuff, it's all connected in the one place. So what's the biggest drawback with Notion? Well, as you can see, Notion can get quite complicated. And a lot of Notion tours and Notion dashboards that I've seen, they really overcomplicate Notion. So the main thing that you want to use Notion for is to actually propel your productivity. The fact that you can take something that's very complicated like your life and your work and school and university and so forth and make it super simple is the main benefit. But the main drawback is if you don't do it correctly, you might actually give yourself more work. As you can see, the, the possibilities are, are really quite endless. So if you've seen my other videos, you might get a sense of kind of the possibilities of what you can do because you really can make pretty much anything. I've even made minimum viable products uh, for startup ideas and stuff m made using Notion. So instead of learning to code and stuff like that, I've made like a beta version using Notion just to test out the, the theory if it works and if people actually want to use it or not. I can make a workplace for myself that works to my needs and not working around another platform. So Notion's not like Asana or Trello or whatever that have these pre-built systems that you're going to use and, and get you to use their way of thinking. In Notion, I can make my own system. I mean, most of the time, I feel like we will understand ourselves better than uh, a platform that's trying to accommodate to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of users. Instead, we can make something that works for us. So is Notion worth it in 2023? I say 100%. If you are interested in a specific Notion dashboard or you have a specific tutorial in Notion that you want me to make, how to make a, a Notion dashboard for students or how to make a Notion dashboard for uh, workplaces or something way more niche, then just drop a comment in the description because I can definitely help you out. So uh, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. Is Notion worth it in 2023? 100% and subscribe. Thank you.